okay, so now you're in the porn industry. Yes. And now you're shooting. Yes. And you're shooting all the time, pretty much, right? Uh, or, or, or not so much? Not so much because I was under contract. Oh, okay. So you're shooting every so often. Yeah. yeah, once a month. I did a movie a month on average. Got it. Okay. And what did you think of the porn industry once you really got into it with both feet? Um, It was nothing like I thought it was. I mean, you think it looks like, you know, I don't know what I thought. Like, I guess the best way to describe it was like, you know, people think it the impressions like boogie nights, you know, and I've now I'm not saying this is across the board. My only 95% of my adult movie experience has been on a wicked picture set because I've been on a contract for so long. Um, but I never saw abuse or drugs or partying, you know, and it was way more professional than I thought. I make the joke all the time, so much more paperwork than, than you would think. Um, but it was professional with shoot schedules and testing and respect. And, you know, it was great. And that was before the tube site. So we had pretty big budget features. We used to have good catering. Yeah. Yeah. I remember boy, yeah, porn early on was like, you actually had porn stars back mm -hmm. then. Yeah. It was a big deal on contracts and everything else right. like that. I mean, how was it just the process of like, hey, I'm going to show up. I'm going to have sex with a guy that I've never met before. And See, there's cameras that's around. That's where I got lucky. That never happened to me. Because the first boy, remember I told you I met the guy, the director, Brad Armstrong, that very first day. And he made me an extra. And he basically didn't let me go. I stayed at his house and we dated for a year and a half. So my first boy-girl scene was not only for Wicket and the director was Brad my sex scene was with Brad and I was already sleeping with him off camera. I am fully aware of how cush I had it. Like I didn't have to do gonzo or work with people I didn't know. And then I was only with Wicked for about a year before I started directing all my own movies, which means I got to pick everybody I worked with. I, I have never had one incident where I showed up on set and worked with someone that I didn't know hmm. or I always got to pick the talent. It's I am extremely fortunate in that res regard. So here you are in the industry. You won uh, Best New Starlet mm -hmm. uh, a year in, I guess. Yeah. And you're doing scenes and you're building up and people know your name. And, you know, being a contract girl, you're on the covers and you yeah. have a name that, you know, people are familiar with and so forth. And then 2006 rolls around. Yep. The American Century Championship uh, golf tournament in Lake Tahoe. If you say so. I don't. I don't remember the name of it. What are you doing out there, number one? Uh, so it was a celebrity charity golf tournament event. And somehow, which I don't know how it came to be, uh, the company I work for, Wicked Pictures, sponsored a hole. And trust me, I... <laughs> Sponsor the hole. I, love it. I appreciate the irony and the humor and the fact that a porn company sponsored a hole. <laughs> like it is that that is not lost on me at all. Um, which meant that you know the golfers come around, we give them water, we take photos, and and obviously um, we had a table in a gift room as well. And it was myself and the owner of the company and the contract girls. And I remember, like, we met a lot of celebrities. Uh, Kevin Nealon was my favorite. And obviously, we all know Donald Trump came through. And the owner of the company introduced, you know, each of the girls. This is my contract girl, such and such. This is my contract girl, Jessica Drake. This is my contract girl and director, Stormy Daniels. And he was like, oh, you direct. Meanwhile, the other girl is throwing herself at him shamelessly. It was pretty disgusting and embarrassing, to be honest. And he wanted nothing to do with her. Um, and I wanted nothing to do with him. Here's your water. Here's your whatever. I kind of didn't even want to be there because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a fan of golf. Uh, and then the next, you know, that was the, the end of that. And the next day, we I, and honestly, I, you know, I can't remember all the people that came through or what else we did. Um, but there was a gift room, and same thing. The celebrities came through and got gift bags from the sponsors and all that stuff. And uh, Donald Trump came through and got pictures with the girls and. Uh, talk to me again definitely you could tell he favored me but I didn't care you know what I mean um that one of our other girls was actually arguing on the phone with a guy she was dating so I was more interested in her Jessica Drake's throwing herself at him again um and then as he walked away his bodyguard circled back and said you know can I get your number Mr. Trump wants to have dinner with you and I was like absolutely not <laughs> and so he gave me his number and said, if I change my mind to give him a call. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> no. 